Hey there, I wanted to bring to you guys a ketone test for the Briars Smart Carb Smart, I think it's called, the Briars Carb Smart ice cream. Um, this was actually suggested to me by a subscriber a while back ago. I have a running list of all of the products that you guys suggest. So if you have any suggestions of a product that you'd like to see a ketone test for, please leave it in the comment section below. The more people that make a suggestion for a particular product, the quicker I will get it out to you guys. So um, for this product, only one person had suggested it. So it's taking me a little while to get it out because I kind of have my products in like a priority list. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section and I will kind of do tick marks on my priority list. So anyways, I will go ahead and show you my results for the Briars Carb Smart, I think is what it's called. <laughs> the Briars uh, Keto-ish Ice Cream. Okay, so I just finished a different product review video. It was the tortilla product review video, but um, I test my ketones three hours after having um, the tortilla and my ketones started going back up because that's all I've had is two tortillas today and it's 240. So um, I just tested my ketones. I don't have the countdown for you. You'll have to watch the tortilla um, product review to see that countdown, but I just tested at a 1.1. So I'm going to test a product that this was actually um, requested by a subscriber. So thank you for doing that. I don't remember the subscriber's name. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at remembering things. But um, if you guys have any suggestions of what you might want me to test, let me know in the comment section below because I actually do make a list of those things. <laughs> and um, I like making sure that I'm being helpful and testing a product that you guys actually wanna see. So um, if there is a product that you wanna see, definitely let me know in the comment section below. But this is one that was recommended to me or requested. This took like seriously three Walmart grocery pickups to actually obtain is crazy. Um, but this is Briars Carb Smart. I had seen this for a long time and I always thought like, oh, it's too high in carbs, even though it says it's carb smart. But then when I actually bought it, um, I looked it over two thirds of a cup is 110 calories, six grams of fat, 16 total carbs, four dietary fiber and eight sugar alcohol. So it's actually four carbs for two thirds of a cup, which is 78 grams, and then two grams of protein. The ingredients are water, milk, maltitol syrup, cream, polydextrose, glycerin, coconut oil, whey, less than 2% of soluble corn fiber, vegetable gums, mono, and, man, this is the second time I've read this, read this today. Uh, Digly cerides? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, natural flavors, acylfame, potassium, and sucralose. So I'm gonna measure out two thirds of a cup. Okay, so I got 78 grams exactly. So that's what it looks like. It's a pretty good serving size. I mean, this is a small glass, but it's still pretty good. Okay. Uh, I will tell you, it is so soft. Like, this is what regular ice cream normally feels like getting it out. And I didn't leave it out or anything. Oh, that's interesting. The texture is a little bit odd. It's kind of almost a little gummy, just a little bit. But um, this one's vanilla. It has an, an off hint of something in there. I think it's a sweetener. Um, like maybe it's a sucralose, but yeah, it's got like almost like a little bit of a plastic, um, flavor to it. Um, it's just kind of like that artificial sweetener where it just doesn't taste right. It's really, it's almost enjoyable. Yeah, it's, um, it's creamy and milky like regular ice cream is. Um, uh, but the flavor is just off. Yeah, in my opinion, it has a faint plastic-like taste to it, and that just kind of bugs me. I don't think most people would notice it because it is very faint, and I'm trying to describe to you like every little thing 
that I might taste. <laughs> um, but I mean, it would probably be a lot better if you like put a topping on it because then you're not just having the vanilla, but, um, I'm sure other people don't notice it because it's very faint, but it doesn't really taste like vanilla to me. It does have a very milky texture to it, which is kind of nice, but yeah, the flavor's just off. I really don't care for it. Anyways, I will finish this two thirds of a cup and then I will test my ketones in an hour. Okay, it's been an hour since I had that ice cream. Let me test my ketones. My ketones before I had the ice cream was 1.1. Okay. So that dropped by 0.4. So I will test in one more hour and see if it goes down anymore. Okay, so it has been almost two hours since I had the ice cream. So I'm going to go ahead and test my ketones now. Um, they were 0.7 before. God, I just looked. It's crazy. It's 0.7 before. Okay. Oh, wow. That's awful. Jeez. Okay, so I guess you're better off with, like, Enlightened or Rebel or something. That's a bummer.